way to Universal Studios. It's like seven something in the morning. Mom, what's your attire? OOTD. Kitan? <laughs> OOTD. And mine, I forgot a piece of my outfit, but whatever. Yeah. It's white. And yellow. <laughs> The what? Yeah. Alright, we're doing that one. What's your OOTD? Night. OOTD. OOTD. What's that mean? Outfit of the day. Okay. Wait, Daddy, this is not the wrong. This is. We're in the wrong place. Oh Daddy. Car is here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at this view. Oh, look, that's Jello. I took a bite of it. I think the fifth. Oh, sorry. I thought that was Kita. He's on your right. Universal Studios Hollywood.
Hi Joe! Vacation! Oh, there's one more! There's two more!
into the show. Oh my God! Here we go, Jeremy! Fifteen minutes. Oh my god, I can't wait for Harry Potter. Me too, Vivian. Studio tour. Oh wait, I think I saw that train. Yeah, all the way down there. Yeah. I saw the train down there. Why? This is a whole day thing. That's why I said to rest up easy last night. Wow.
Oh my gosh, here we go. Clyde, you can put in the seat next to you. Season one of the TED television series. Now, before anything can film inside of those sound stages we drove past earlier, it first has to start out as an idea inside of these cute little bungalows we're about to drive past on the left. Now, these bungalows are actually offices for writers, producers, and directors who have development deals with NBC Universal. I'll show you how it works. Do we have anybody on the tram that watched the show Bluff City Law? Anybody? Oh, you're done now. Great. B E A. And that's how Universal Studios wow. made the movie Bruce Almighty, starring Jim wow. Carrey. But if you thought that was pretty cool, take a look at this next area our driver's about to show you. A television show. Oh, Do you yeah. know what the television show is called? No. Rutherford Falls. Mm -hmm. Jana, are you excited? For what? We're on the world famous Universal Studio Tour, and right oh. there in front of us is a tram full of guests. That's right. Oftentimes, oh. when you see movies that are supposed to be taking place in New York, they were filmed right here on this street. You all are so cute. I hate Ladies to Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skull Island. And we're in the back.
is especially true when you think about the gyrosphere we all saw on the big screen in Jurassic World. Oh, I like the pink one. Oh, the monitors, you can see just how important using the right car is to a movie or television show. Oh, us. And staying on the topic of cars, the vehicles on your monitor, we're going to show you those in person as well. Because guess where you're going next? Oh. To a jungle island. Because here's how it looked on the big screen. Oh. Wow, they use that for graphic of our oh Jurassic Park God. movies you do it on a beautiful day like today you're making a Christmas movie that requires snow or what if you need sleep or hail or rain we'll take a look at this this is how you make a classic like Gene oh. Kelly singing in the rain even on a beautiful oh. hot sunny day that? like today we use overhead sprinklers that we hide from the camera's view so when you shoot the water straight up, it looks just like Mother Nature's natural rain. And as everybody on the tram knows, out here in the state of California, if you get too much rain, you end up with a lot of wet people sitting in car number three. Hi, car number three. Take a look to the left. of all times worked on this street. People like Hoot Gibson, Audie Murphy, Jimmy Stewart, and even John Wayne, the Duke himself. Episode of the television show, The Good Place, starring Kristen Bell oh. and Ted Danson. Risk going to the bad place? Maybe, maybe it's not all that bad. Oh, wow. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound awesome. And that's how you make a television show in Hollywood. Now, before you took our tour today, did you know there are... Remember, our sound stages are almost 98% soundproof. And look at this. Inside of a sound stage, you can create any environment that the story and script demands. Look at this. This particular building stays in its current condition 24-7 and it's used whenever anybody in Hollywood needs to film a scene that takes needs to take place in a subway station. Oh, Makes a lot more sense that? to do the filming in here than to take your cast and crew down to LA's Union Station with all of the commuters walking around in the back. Once again, take a moment to look around you and then take a look at your monitors because here's how this building looks on film.
tour. Because here's how what you experienced in person looks oh. on film. the shark uh -oh, has been captured, an it's very peaceful out here. In fact, it's so peaceful, it allows the driver to bring us to the area so I can tell you about the uh -oh. houses you see on the right side of the tram. Now these houses have a pe What is that? Uh -oh. I thought that was the shark over there with the noobs captured. Please tell me this isn't another shark in the water because oh, there's a diver over there. Does he see it? Look away, little babies. You shouldn't have to see that. Oh, that's not even right. All right, I know some explosives. Because if there's one thing sharks hate more than anything in the world, it's fire. Where are we at the end? Oh, no. Oh, no. wondering the answer to your question is yes ladies and gentlemen that's a real airplane oh you guys see it no i don't think they know did you look at him he was still staring at us that is all designed around the vision that stephen had and for again to sit down to talk about the access and more importantly that you'll never be able to look at movies the same way again jupiter it's for no as our driver makes this turn to take you back to the unload line don't forget that our theme park is staying open until 10 p.m this evening over here on the right side of the tram as we make our way back to the theme park charles is ruthless as they come and he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, oh, enjoy the ride. This is not your jurisdiction. It is now, stink pickle. I'm so tired of you, stink. I step in it. Just whatever you, you feel like. Muted. Okie dokie. Don't you feel. That's better. We're moving your vehicle to a safe location until we have the situation under control. Until then, I want everybody to stay calm. Enjoy the ride. I'm taking care of business. Up Hey yo! They just got oh, here. Buddha. All right, I got it. Well, listen, hello, beautiful people, particularly you right there, missing the third row. Oh. How you doing? You good? Who's in the My name third is row? Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. My buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you in show for a while, so we brought you in our secret spot.
There's a psychopathic killer on the loose. His name is Sideshow Bob, and he used to work for me. For some reason, he hates me. <laughs>
Nonton. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up, okay? Yeah, he loves minions!